Good morning, people. It's 11 a.m. What we're going to talk about is how to have consistent cash flow in your business. The art of making money, how to get more money in your life. When you're out here trying to get money, momentum is very, very, very important. Many people never can get what I call escape momentum, which is not to be confused with escape velocity. Two different things. Now, what do I mean by escape momentum? When you have a business or a side hustle, you got to get consistent cash flow. That is one of the hands down the biggest things that you need to achieve if you want to move your goals forward. You must get consistent cash flow. What we're going to talk about is how to get cash consistent cash flow and where you may or may not be in this thing. If this is your first time here, this is Glendon Cameron, your hustling godfather. What we do here is make money through entrepreneurship, which will start through a side hustle. Just to be clear, just so you got, or we're on the same page. You need to keep your job and you need to start a side hustle as soon as possible. Keep your job, start a side hustle. For those of you who need additional help, there's a few things I have to offer. Uh, first of all, go below and go through the description. In the description, we will have a few things. I have a few things for you. There is a ton of courses that I have that will help you get to a good side hustle level income. One of the things you want to do is get onto that consistent side hustle income. I don't care if it is just consistently 200 or 300 bucks a month. You must achieve the consistency before you achieve the proficiency. Now, under the video, there's a lot of stuff that's available. I'm not going to go through all of that. But for as low as $29.99, you can get in up to $149. There's like 20 courses below. All of this stuff is for people who want to, who, who have no experience. You know, you, you want to make some money. You have this big thirst to make money, but you don't know where to start. You don't know who to talk to. You don't know who to trust. I got you. All of this stuff is designed for you to create essentially a part-time job that will prepare you for business ownership. All right, so that's the first thing. That's what we're going to talk about. If you are looking to start a car wash, if you're looking to start donuts, if you're looking to start a barbecue thing, if you're looking to start something on the side in addition to your job, Hustlers Kung Fu Life, School, Life Skills is the place for you to be. Now, we need to have a disclaimer here. There are many people who want to make money online. They want to start an online business. They want to start uh, hustling and making money online, but they don't understand. And I'm going to break that down for you. When I started this YouTube channel, 2009, I worked on it full time for about six months, eight, 10, 12 hour days. I didn't make any money. You must understand there is a hustle and there is a business. You can make money with the side hustles, you know, start kids very quickly, like take, take resale. If you were to go to Hustlers Kung Fu Life Skills and get the Craigslist marketing course, let's say you bought it 10 o'clock in the morning. If you hustle hard enough, you can have money that night. That's how hustles work. Hustles are very quick. Hustles are very, very tertiary. You can make money like this. You could be up to literally on Craigslist with consistency and hard work and effort. You could be at, let's say, 500 bucks consistently a month. You could do that. However, why does it top out so quickly? 
hustles are something that everyone can do. Everyone can drive for Uber. Everyone can drive for Instacart. Everyone can resell something on eBay. Everyone can resell something on Amazon. It's very easy. It's very open. There's a lot of help. There's a lot of free information. But it's hard to scale past livable income. Now, what is livable income? Livable income is over 5000 bucks per month. Now, if you have a business, you can't just make a straight five. Let's say your job, you make 5000 a month. If you have a business, you need to make 10 so you can have that five. Preferably, if you are an employee and you're making five, you want your business to do 15K per month. You have overhead, you have expenses, you have taxes. So to take up for all of those additional bills to ensure that you get your $5,000 per month. You know, that's livable income in most parts. I don't care if you live in California. I don't care if you live in New York. No one told you to live there. If you want to live there, that's a choice. It's not like anyone's got a gun to your head like, you got to live in New York. For the folks who are going to put that in the comments later. You chose to live in New York. You chose to live there. You chose to make your life there. No one's forcing you. You could leave if you want. So I don't want to hear that. But anyway, for most of the country, five to $6,000 a month is livable income for a family of two to three. One person, you're, you're fine. You're fine. That's 60000 bucks a month. I mean, $6,000 a year. You're fine. Preferably, that's still not middle class income, but we'll talk about that later. Now, you get a family and you get tight. I don't care where you are. 60K, a family of four, that's tight. It's very, very tight. You have no room for any mistakes. I say all of this because this is the way that I did it. I did all of the stuff that's in the hustler kung fu life skills. Did everything. That's These courses are created from my own organic essence, right? Also, for those of you who want more, you can get everything in there for $4.99. That gives you all of the courses. And for those who want to go big boy status and get Side Hustle University plus more, you get everything plus the art of holding plus a year at moneyincomeandprofit.com, which is here. And we're going to get into that to a minute. So I got a question for y'all. How many of you have a side hustle that you make 1500 bucks or more gross? We're not going to talk about net. We're going to talk about gross. How many people here have a side hustle that they make 1500 bucks or more per month consistently? So y'all can marinate on that. Now, while y'all marinating on that, we're going to talk about the consistency of cash flow and why you, you need to start with something small that you can maintain and keep going because this is one of the things that I've learned. And I'm going to take the dollar section. And for those of you who are really new to the channel and don't know this, uh, I got started off selling storage units, you know, storage wars, auction hunters. That's how I got started. When I first started, I used to buy the pretty units, the really nice units, and then they got very expensive, and they really weren't that profitable. And then we would buy units, sell the good stuff, then there would be these peaks in the, the, in the valley where we would go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven days, not sell anything. So in the beginning, that really didn't seem to be a problem because, you know, everyone went through it, and some people bought on Monday and sold on the weekends. But it presented itself when you came time to buy. You ain't sold anything. You don't have any money, so you really can't buy that much. So it went along like this, and we, we had storefronts. But I had a bright idea one day. The storefronts, we were getting all our traffic from our online ads. So it's like, we really don't need these storefronts. So what we did is we shut down the storefronts. We had two. 
and we moved everything in the, uh, in the warehouses. We had two warehouses, one that most people knew about and one that was hidden. And we started running everything out of there. Now, instantly, we became more profitable because we got rid of um, – 2500 and 1500 a month, 2500 15 and I'm going to talk about that in a minute, too. So $4,000, $50,000 a year in overhead, gone. $1,500 bucks for 1,000 square feet, $2,500 for 1,500 square feet. We're paying $2,500 for 10,000 square feet of warehouse space. Very important lesson here, so remember that. Stick that into your, your bonnet. Well, we had a problem. We had to pay money to throw stuff away. So I had this idea. I was like, let's just mix in some of this, all this stuff, because we used to get consistently pillowcases, sheets, blankets, towels, T-shirts, clothes, shoes, irons, my, well, consistently. <clears throat> some of it was nice. Some of it was booty. Booty was just like it was, you know, one step away from the trash, but it had a little service life left into it. And my partner, we kind of fought on it because, you know, we, we had trash service, but we fill up the dumpster after one shopping spree. So I said, like, let's take because we had bought the warehouse and the warehouse wasn't full. When full, I was like, let's take all the space over here and just sell everything for a dollar. Now, this is very important. For consistent cash. Very important. And my heart was, eh. I was like, let's just try it. Let's just try it. Okay. So everything over there was a dollar. So didn't have to throw away stuff anymore. Some stuff that was broken we had to get rid of. But our, our uh, cost went way down. So we got rid of the storefront. That's $50,000 a year. Uh, we were paying about 2000 a month to throw stuff away. So the first year, we saved like almost 80K. But that's not the good part. That's not the good part. Stay tuned. Then a strange thing happened. Because we were in the warehouse, we weren't supposed to be selling to the public. People could come buy trucks and stuff like that, but not like a, a retail parking lot. We couldn't have that. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to blow this stuff out on the weekends. So I went up and had some signs printed up, posted them up. You know, strange thing happened. People stole my signs. First sale we had went okay. I noticed that when traffic would be a lull in traffic, I would go up and check the signs and find out that one of the signs was gone. People would steal our pre-bought signs in the middle of the garage sale. Show you how selfish people are. Well, I started making these big pink signs, pink cardboard, yellow, because it was just a lot of money to pay for those signs. And they didn't steal those. So about the fourth weekend, we had a bunch of loads, we had a bunch of shirts, shoes, all kinds of stuff, and I just shoved it in there. And then we had a huge Hispanic population that was shopped there. This is when I knew it was going to work. We had a bunch of Hispanics come in in vans and trucks, and they bought about $750 worth of stuff. At that point, my partner was like, okay, this is cool. You know, boom, that was gone. We didn't have to throw it away. We didn't have to deal with it. Then they went home. Then I look out in the parking lot, and there's this caravan of Mexicans coming down Hammer, Hammer Mill Road. It's like, that's strange, and they're turning into the parking lot. Next thing I know, the parking lot is full. They went and got their friends and came back. And they saw, they bought everything. They bought everything. They bought all of that stuff in the dollar section. So, 7200 bucks later, on a hot, warm, on a hot Saturday, we had all this cash. Well, you know what I did? I went out and unloaded some more units and then did it again on Sunday. And Sundays, we didn't make as much money. We would make one-fourth to one-half. So Sunday, we did about $1,800. That was almost $10,000 in a week. Weekend. $10,000 in almost two days. Then we had our normal eBay sales. 
We had a normal uh, Amazon sales. We had a normal Craigslist sales during the week. Because, you know, someone coming by to pick up a bedroom set of washer dryer, that was no really big deal. After that weekend, it's when I became one of the people that can bid on any unit that I wanted. This is when Bobby was like, no, I bow down, I bow down. We don't, well, I ain't bidding against you, man. You don't bid against me, I won't bid against you. This is when Sam Yang was like, man, get out my business. Man, you just, you're terrible. I can't get nothing around here without you. So just having this ideal of selling stuff for a dollar created consistent cash flow which enabled me to become one of the big dogs in the storage auction trail in Atlanta. Dollar at a time. Totally changed my paradigm. Changed my life. Because we were no longer having a sale here, a sale there. We had the eBay sales. We had the Amazon sales. We had the Craigslist sales. We had the weekend sale, which was cash. We had consistent sales seven days a week. And this is what you got to do in your business. If you have a business, and I'll tell you about a friend that had a cookie business before I got a hold of her. And she would like to go to the wrong places. I said, no, you got to go here. You got to go here. First of all, she had to pick the right venue. Then she had to have the right mix of cookies. Then she started to have consistent sales. She did 18 grand on every other weekend in addition to her job selling cookies. Because she had consistent sales. See, the, the thing that most people get wrong is, and I see it in these Facebook groups, how do I sell? They, they have no plan. They have no game. Because unless you can get consistent cash flow, you're dead in the water. If you're one of those people who have an eBay business, an Amazon business, you sell here and there, you ain't going to make it. Not today. Consistent sales is the benchmark of a successful business. Apple has consistent sales. Best Buy has consistent sales. Macy's has consistent sales. You ever wonder, like when you get on a Macy's uh, or, or Dick's, you know, I get three to four emails per day from Dick's. Uh, Tori, uh, Tori Bosch, I think her name. I bought my girl some shoes, got on their email list. I get like two or three emails a day from them. Why do they send me so many emails? Consistent sales. Consistent cash flow. No one here talks about consistent cash flow because they don't know what it looks like. You can launch a funnel because I see like uh, this course generated $10,000. This course generated $20,000. I was making more money than that offline in 2003, 2002, 2003 made more in 2004, made more in 2005, made more in 2006, made more in 2007. Crazy money 2008, and that's when the recession was balling down. Consistent cash flow is a solid principle that you need in your business. If you don't have consistent cash flow, you're going to be in trouble unless you have one of those esoteric, very specialized business, like say you're a trial lawyer. And every three or four years, you get a check for 1.5, 2, or 10 million. Okay, you can make it on that. But if you have a small business where your average ticket size is 25 to 100 bucks and you go 20 days out the month without a sale, because I'm going to talk about something else too. When you have overhead on uh, warehouses, uh, fixed operating costs, and you're not making sales, you're getting behind the curb. So what many people default, uh, people who have these antique booths, these flea market booths, they automatically default to getting enough st the stuff so they can pay rent. Profit, what's that? I'm just, I'm just trying to pay rent, man. Because they never thought about the consistent sales thing. Consistent sales is everything. Now, I, I talk about this because you, you need to, and I feel in my heart of hearts, that everyone needs to do a little resale, a little car washing, something to expose you to business. Because everybody wants to leap from, I'm not doing anything right now, into the business ownership, to the profit, to the boss seat, when you ain't fit to be a boss. 
you ain't fit to be a boss. You know, right now, I'm going to show y'all something. And this this going to sound like really crazy. Let me see if I got it. Um, I don't know if I got it in here. Hold on. Because this is, uh, let me. I don't know where it is. I'm going to find this because this is very important for people to understand. Uh, it's it's, it's going to be a little off base. Uh, it's going to be really off base, really. All right. I'm just getting rid of a lot of uh, stuff I got in here. All right. With no... Uh, man, with, without, come on, I'm so excited, but stay with me. Yeah. All right, let's see if this is it. Okay. Come on, come on. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna find this because it's gonna blow your mind. You know what? Here's one. I'm gonna I'm gonna use this one. I'm gonna turn this off. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. All right. So this dude right here, right? Hold on a second. I'm going to put this up here. Because this is this 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 going to be a little off base, but it, I'm going to bring it home. All right. Make sure this is showing. Yeah. We're going to skip ahead. All right. This dude right here, right? He's in a wheelchair. And he is paralyzed below the navel, which means his thing dang don't work, right? He is a young man. He is paralyzed. His thing thing don't work. That's his wife. Let me find a better picture of her. That's his wife. For all you folks out there who are able body and your thing thing work, you and you still can't find a relationship. This man, oh God, they're in Georgia. Who knew? Uh, this man has found a wife who really loves him, who cares for him, and he is paralyzed below the navel, and his thing thing don't work. And they talk about, they got a channel. They talk about uh, things they do. Now, what does this have to do with consistent cash flow? All right, I'm going to bring it on home. So many people are ignoring what they can do and focusing on what they can't do that they can't get their consistent cash flow up. This dude, his thing ain't going to work. He paralyzed. He got him a hot, he got him a hot wife. I want you to really think about that. We got all these able-bodied people. Because see, as a person, and I don't know what his experience is, but as a person who almost died, when you get to that point, things in life become very real. Things in life, you certain things just don't matter anymore. Certain things, I should say, in life, things become crystal clear. So whatever he's gone through, because he tried to kill himself, and whatever changes and transformations that he went through, he got his consistent cash flow in love. Because there are many able-bodied people, there are many gorgeous people, handsome men who cannot have a relationship, and this dude is in a wheelchair, and his thing thing don't work, and he got a wife. 
people are ignoring what they can do, can do to try to chase after some stuff that they're not prepared to do. And they're not prepared to do because uh, let me go around here because there, there's another one. Um, <laughs> this is it, it is wild because uh, whenever I have one of those moments where I don't feel like doing my best or something, I just go ahead and watch one of these videos and instantly I am feeling better. Instantly. <laughs> I'm in a better mood. I'm like, dude, you have uh, no problems. Your life is good. You're not going through anything. Oh, this dude. He don't have no limbs. He don't have no hands, no feet. Yeah, he married with kids. Once again, let me show you somebody else. I forgot because uh, there was this guy, because he's on here somewhere. And essentially, he was born with this disease where he doesn't have use of, he has arms and legs, he just, they don't work. So his wife takes care of him. And she is ridiculously hot. So you see this all over time. Like, you know, if you, you're you having um, a bad day, just go over to Barcroft Television and check some stuff out. And it, it will blow your mind, the stuff you see over here. Here's a little family. I mean, it's just crazy. But what I'm saying is, you can do this if you condition your mind correctly. Everybody's trying to make money online. Let me just say it to you very clearly and distinctly. If you can make money offline consistently with consistent cash flow, you can crush it online. And everybody's got the game twisted. You know, this ain't none of this tactic stuff. This is no Facebook stuff. This ain't no Instagram stuff. This is, this is real business real business all right so now once you get the consistent cash flow this is when you can do this and i know a lot of people because like i said i'm in groups right you can get into an online business and for anyone who cares um below the video are links to everything except for invest yourself in the income metamorphosis you can't get into that right now the only thing you get into is money management, the basics of finance, and how to you can get in this course. Your framework how to start an online business in any niche. Now, once <clears throat> you have developed consistent cash flow, you know how to maintain a bit. And see, this is the beauty of it. If you run a small business and you consistently make fifteen hundred to two thousand a month, then you come online, you're gonna kill it. And the reason you're gonna kill it is you're seasoned. Most of the, the number one reason that so many people come online and they don't make money is because they are unseasoned. They don't know what they're doing. They're arrogant. I, I will say this like, if you think that you can come online with no experience, no training, and do what I do, you beyond, you beyond arrogant. You a fool. And there, there are many people who feel that they can do this. They feel that they can do it. Because see, the thing is, it isn't that you're stupid. It isn't that you're lazy. That has nothing to do with it. What's going down is many people do not have the proper financial education to make money offline or online. Anybody can sell something on eBay, flip some on Craigslist one time here and there. The real trick of the game is to have consistent cash flow because once you have consistent cash flow, Woo! It's, it changes your life. 
It changes your life. It creates a different kind of beast because we had consistent cash flow. I was able to arbitrage units. What does this mean? I was buying units I didn't have the money for. Seriously, the cash flow was coming in so fast that I would look at my PayPal account. I'd be on the auction trail, and I've spent all my money, and I look at my PayPal account, and there would be two, three, four, five, six, seven thousand dollars in there every day. So I could spend all my cash and still have access to money because we had consistent cash flow. Consistent cash flow allows you to consistently advertise. Consistent cash flow allows you to consistently hire. Consistent uh, cash flow allows you to consistently revamp and improve your product. That's the game. And once you learn how to get consistent cash flow on a small level, it's just a matter of scale. Because you can't scale something you don't know how to do. This is what a lot of people are doing. Cause I'm, and, of course, this is, I, I, I say nothing. I say nothing because uh, there was someone who uh, had a course. They did a lunch. They made $20,000. I liked it, and I didn't say nothing. I said nothing because you just got started. All right, you go out and you do a lunch. You make 20. You make 50K. Congratulations. What's your next act? The 50K ain't going to last long. What's your next act? How are you going to do it again? That's why, like, you know, I see people in there, like, uh, I see uh, internet entrepreneurs, and they have better presentations than I do, and they're like, oh, I, I made $10,000 this month. I made $20,000 this month. First time. This one girl, she said, I made $30,000 this month, and it's the first time I've ever made this much money in one month. I've had clients pay me fifty k per month in addition to all this. Some of them are in the stream right now. Once again, how did I get here? Consistent cash flow. Learning the principles of business, not the tactics, but the principles of business. All right. So let's go in here. Let's see what we got going on here. What's up, 89 Dr. Funk? What's up, Tracy Lamode, Frozen Creative? Cupcake Larry. <laughs> I like that. Dub Start Development. I use Craigslist a lot. Craigslist is a wonderful uh, resource. It's, a, it's become a pain lately for some of my uses. Silverjack, my side hustle makes more than $1,500 a month net. Awesome. Congratulations. Broderick, they resell it in Mexico. What are you talking about? Adonis, my buddy makes a killing at his gas station in the oil field, check cashing. You, you know what's amazing about that, Adonis? How many people who will get into the oil fields and stuff and will not have proper banking set up and will have to go to a cash, check cashing store? And all they care about is, I made $7,000. I'm going to give this guy $30 to cash my check. Every, you know, I'm going to give him 60 bucks. Per month to cash my check. <sighs> Crazy. Uh, I do agree about uh, spanning the market because this is another reason that the online business is so good because I got clients, Israel, Africa, UK, Australia. So definitely Adonis. Brendan, that is, that's, that's hilarious because I, I do not moisturize. My girl is trying to get me to do some skin scrubbing. I'm like, no, you can do that. What's up, Be Real? Robbie Rob, what's up, G? I have a painting business. But I want to get in the storage washing game for fall, winter months by next year. I plan on getting a warehouse, store material trucks is 10K enough. 10K is more than enough, but Rob, see, let me, let me give you a little tip right here. And uh, I think you should go ahead and get the, uh, I think I got the, st yeah, the store structure stuff's in there. That's in the side hustle starter pack. It's 99 bucks. Go ahead and get that. You want to get in the store auction game now because i already know where you're going and this is what a lot of contracting people would do like when their work dried up 
and the winter months there were the storage auctions, right? So when everybody came out at the same time, prices went up. So what you want to do is to take some of your, your painting money, get you a warehouse now, get you a warehouse now, start buying units now, and start warehousing because when your business dries up, you'll have materials and products to sell that you got cheap because in the winter, the price goes up. Just letting you know. So, yeah, uh, I mean, you can start with 2K. I mean, you got to do what you got to do. Like, you know, people are in various levels of the economic ladder. Some folks, they don't have a pot to piss out of in the window. They sleep on someone's couch. Uber, if you can do it. Some people don't even have a car. So, you know, you got to do what you got to do. Yeah, you, you really want to set that up like a business. You want to run your storage auction business like you run your painting business. That right there will separate you from the, the, pat, the, the masses. Uh, Tim May, I don't know anything about his headlight restorage. But once again, I don't live in the right neighborhood. Because I do see these cars with these cloudy headlights. And there could be a market. I, I would have to, you have to do some research on that. Been the bartender, his fingers work. <laughs> Priority change of time. Been the bartender, a life partner versus short term sexual gratification. I know, man, that finger comment. Oh, man. <laughs> what that mouth do? <laughs> That's crazy. Uh, C major. Hey, Glennon, should I create an LLC, a holding company before I have a business established? You should create the holding company first. What's up, Raquel? Uh, ben. All right, you and that Mary Jane. Thank you, Cashmatic. Be real, Glennon. <laughs> it, it does. They did a video talking about their sex life, man. How they do it. His, it don't work. He has to inject some stuff in there to get an erection so he can satisfy her. What's up, Chris? What's up, Ace Bank? Yeah, we still live. What's up, Steven Rodriguez? Marlene Splite, love your channel. Can you sell life insurance with your method and courses? Uh, for people who want to do life insurance, I would suggest 30 days to 2,500, and this is why. Life insurance is a relationship business. And for you, to, it's going to take you six months to two years to build up your book of business to really start making some money. So you got to start making as many relationships as possible. What's up, Rock and Roll Diva? All right, Steven, you kind of close. Uh, Victor Vanzetti. Well, there shouldn't be any charge because I stopped all those charges. And also, and this is very interesting, Victor, you apparently have gotten off the email list because I have started the man channel all over again. And only the people who are on the email list in disruptive mail have access to that channel. So that, you're kind of telling me something because if you were active, and this is another thing, and this is a good point. A lot of people don't open up emails. Then they will come up here and ask me something that if they had read the email, they would know. Very interesting. Uh, all right, uh, Victor, uh, I am not going to put you into the framework. What I'll do when I get time is go in and figure out where it is because if you didn't know, no one's getting charged for disruptive mail because I I'm going to tell you all something in a minute. Yeah, I actually say it now. Hold on. Let me show you something. And I, I will get back to this. All right. 
All right, so I'm working on another channel. The following video has been flagged for their thumbnails. The thumbnails have been reviewed and removed. Now, I used this thumbnail on the old channel, and that's, now I can't use it. So I'm going to have to speed up the dark side. So, Victor, you need to check your emails because I put out an email about this and I talked about this. And let, let's just get out of here. Um, you guys know I'm legitimately busy. So everyone that buys a product or service, I really appreciate your business. Uh, most of the people know what's up, and they can respond accordingly. But I don't have a lot of time to go back and forth on you on the email chat. I'm running four businesses here. This is why I do these live streams. This is why I put stuff out. This is why I send emails out. If you read the emails, you would not be asking the questions you're asking. All right. But uh, I'm actually going to speed up the dark side because I, I got a lot of stuff that I'm going to do. All right. And no. And also, the reason that I'm not going to move you over there um, is during the disruptive mail, I learned a lot of stuff. Like, I had people signing up for one thing, then they would get something else. Then, when they didn't get it, they would get a case of ass, they'd do a chargeback. And I'm like, I'm not doing that. I am going to keep money, income, and profit pristine. The only people that I got to add to that site without paying any money is because they pay monthly, is the H undergrad people, and that's it. And I told y'all about Amazon. Your money funny with Amazon. What did I tell you about Amazon? I, I've made videos. I said it. What did I tell you? People are like, oh, I'm going to keep doing Amazon. Glenn don't know what he's talking about. Very interesting. It was a thread about Amazon and all these fake FBA gurus and stuff. And I went down and said my pace and nobody said. Because normally they would come after me. They would come for me. They would talk snack. No one said anything. A few people liked it because they know. I'm legit. I said 2014, what Amazon was going to do. But y'all still doing Amazon. Keep it up. Keep it up. Yeah. Uh, go through the, if you're in the Hustles LLC, I don't think you got that. But, because I didn't do the storage auction stuff in that. The storage auction stuff is like in the side hustle. All these type of things, like how to do Craigslist. Um, how to do storage auctions. That's totally different. Philip Hudson, a lot of people are lazy, straight up. Why don't more people that are self-employed educate this? People want, people want the least path of resistance, man. All right. Uh, let's see. What's up, Christian? Sure thing, Marlene. Well, a lot of people, like I will say, I don't answer a lot of emails, and my assistant's working on the project, so some emails have probably gone lacking. But here's the thing. There ain't really that many emails. I work very hard to make this stuff super simple. Super simple because, and a lot of people don't listen. And that's one of the things that just pisses me off. I'll explain it. I'll send out an email. And then someone will come in here and ask a question that would be solved if they had did their due diligence and read the information and watched the video that I put out. Pretty much, D. Grant, you can, you can, that's, that's your hours. There's the hours for your job. There's your hours. Uh, Infinite Speaks, YouTube is definitely a hater. I also say when people had questions, because this is once the thing. If you are in disruptive mail, and I, you know what? I'm going to send out another email today to uh, Hustlers Kung Fu Life Skills, and let's see how many people go over there. And also, I had some people talking to me who did a chargeback. Let, let me just put this to you. If you do a chargeback to me, you're dead to me. You want to know why? What do I say about this course? If you don't have the money, don't buy it. What if I say about any course? If you don't have the money, don't buy it. I say, go watch the free information. Get your money up and come back. People, chargebacks happen when people don't listen. Fortunately for me, I don't have a lot. Sometimes I go months without one. 
But I got I got a I got a, a, a yardbird list of everyone who's done a chargeback. And if I see them buy some, I'm gonna refund their money and get rid of them and send them a nasty gram. Cause it is not you don't need to do that. Thanks, Royston. Ben the bartender, Amazon is not for business owners. It's designed for Amazon to steal your products and undercut you pretty much. eBay is becoming the same way. What's going on with Udemy? The dark side is going, all right, here, here's the thing. Um, what's going on with YouTube is YouTube's becoming Disneyland. I put up a, pay, I put up a, a, I reused the thumbnail that I was using on Disruptive Mail. I tried to use it today. It got deleted instantly. So YouTube is moving very quickly to becoming Disneyland. The dark side, because I may have to stop putting the receipts in, you know, because I, I black out stuff, but I've been, you know, for those of you know, I've got a lot of receipts in those. I think there's like 19 videos. I got a ton of receipts. And I got to be careful because YouTube's just like, this is like Mr. Rogers' Playground. But the dark side will be an education portal, and I'm not going to do disruptive mail. Like, you know, there's some people at disruptive mail who have been very patient, so I appreciate you guys. And the dark side, I'll just bring all y'all over because I'm just going to let disruptive mail go away. Uh, right now, I'll just keep it for the email list. But the dark side is going to be better. It's going to be more fun. And it's going to be paid. It's not going to be a lot. I mean, I don't know what I'm going to charge. Maybe $9.99 a month or something like that. I have no clue in the courses, but you're going to love it. You're going to love it. I mean, seriously, there, there's no reason for that. Um, ben the Bar 2, YouTube is on a flagging spree. Some weirdos in comment sections of certain videos have been getting content created. Oh, yeah. About four years ago, I saw this coming. I started uh, heavily moderating my comment section because comments do matter and comments can change what happens in the video. Uh, ben Blitz, uh, once again, it just depends on what you're doing. C major, should I buy framework, starter pack, or framework course? I have no experience, don't have social media presence. Starter pack. Go get the the side hustle starter pack. I believe it's 99 bucks. Because here's the thing. When I came to YouTube in 2009, I had a solid sales record. I had solid sales experience. I had solid business experience. I had solid marketing experience, and it still took me six months six months to make money. With all that, it still took me six months. Most people who start a successful long-term business do not make a lot of money up front in the first few years online. Tactically, if you were to become an FBA horse seller, uh, some of those guys make millions. What they'll do is do enough FBA to get some screenshots, then put together a very well-oiled or marketing package, and they'll make millions. The Amazing Selling Machine made $92 million. But check this out. I think the largest or one of the largest um, Amazon FBA sellers only made $70 million. Think about that. Plus that $70 million, they had product costs, they had Amazon fees. Yeah. Lamo, yes, the webinar. I'm, I'm actually going to address, you know, I should address that now because I'm going to speak on some stuff. All right, so hold on a second. Let me get in here. All right. So tonight at 8 p.m., I'm going to do this webinar. So if you've already set up for, my, you know, for the framework, the framework, how to start an online business, what we're going to do is all this is here. Well, not that, but this, this, this. All this is here. And we're going to review these topics. So what if you've bought Framework, what I want you to do is go through all of this 
and write down your questions and we'll discuss them tonight at 8 p.m. Then next week, I'm going to put some more stuff in there. And then next week, we're going to discuss that next Tuesday at 8 p.m. All this stuff is set up, you know, so for the next four weeks, this is what we're doing. This way you can come in and let's say, let's say you just find a channel and you buy framework. Well, you can ask your questions because what I'm going to do is take the webinar, record the webinar, and then put the webinar uh, probably at the end of this section because I was thinking about put webinars up there and that's like a little confusing. So I'll probably put it like right here, webinar for this section, questions and answers. Then I'll put more content and training after that, do another webinar and so on and so on and so forth. So that's what's going on. So if you want to be part of the webinar where you can talk questions and stuff, um, good Lord, I'm getting some weird emails. Go ahead and enroll in the framework, how to start an online business in any niche. Now, I have not gotten to the point where I'm going to drastically raise the price, but that's coming at a certain point. So if you want to get in and more importantly, you should get in so you can get started. Let me be clear. Let me be distinct. Starting an online business that is not a tactic or some kind of hustle is going to take time. Once again, I had solid sales experience, solid business experience, solid marketing experience, and it still took me six months to make money on YouTube. And also, didn't have a lot of competition back then. I didn't know how to do YouTube. That is how that thing happened. So, definitely. Uh, links below the video in the description section so you can go ahead and get it. Or, you know, you can uh, just go to money. Because I don't think I got that one where you can see it on the outside. Let me see. Let me just put this right here. put this link here all right that's the link all right so let's see yeah I keep hitting a lot of people you know what I I, I did a, a list of how many people want the hat two people signed up I am not getting ready to order any hats or even getting that y'all have fooled me once with that stuff um I get enough interest I'll start selling hats Robbie Rob, man, I feel you on the chargebacks. I just got the phone with a client who was complaining about me charging 300 to change the color, even though I told him about it, right? People get very fuzzy memories, man. Uh, Royston, I've been searching free and gig sections on Craigslist. Notice people putting sex hacks on Criff Gigs and, and Craigslist. Light ver yeah, and Craigslist has become like a Nazi on that. I put up an ad in the Creative Gigs for a model and they flagged it and what they've done I, I put that in three different places and it all got flagged so you'll see them but go back two or three days later and you'll see that most of them are gone Christian Anderson with the dark side website the dark side is going to focus on a lot of stuff that um, I'm still contemplating because once again, like the channel is, if you want a girlfriend, we'll help you. You want to get married, we'll help you. You want to have three or four women, we'll help you. And we're going to just talk about a lot of stuff because now that I don't have to constrain myself for YouTube, there's a lot of topics. Uh, definitely personal development will be part of it, my way, and some other stuff. So definitely. Man, YouTube is YouTube, YouTube's making plenty of money doing it the way they want to do it, man. Uh, let's see. <laughs> YouTube is funny. Zola, uh, I'm no time soon. That's like at the bottom of the list of things that have to be done. All right. 
Ray Williams, do you still suggest offline marketing and old school marketing? Absolutely. You know I got like 30 people to subscribe to um, the new channel by mentioning it in public. Mm-hmm. Definitely. So you want to do it all. You want to do offline marketing. You want to do online marketing. Because the way that I built this first this YouTube channel, I just had to do YouTube because it was still brand new. YouTube was four, three or four years old when I started. So it was there was no rules. There was no playbook. I mean, a lot of stuff just got developed. That's funny, Ken Art. Uh, Robert, Rob, I know. Yes, I'm going to do, after I do the online thing, I'm going to do a YouTube specific course. There's YouTube, there's two ways to do YouTube. You can do YouTube the YouTube way, which your channel will grow. You'll get a lot of subscribers. You'll make good AdSense money. AdSense money is probably better than it's ever been because now that they have have limited the pool, because all AdSense money is in the pool. And since now many channels can't get an ad, because it used to be everyone got ads, the pool is not as diluted as it was because last year this time, my AdSense was like 300 bucks. This is it's gonna probably be 12, 1400 this month, maybe 1500. And I've noticed the upsweep. Everybody talking about this hat. I know, man, it's their platform. They can do what they want. And that's the thing. So for everyone who wants to be part of Framework, tonight, 8 p.m., the it's already set up in the course. If you go ahead and buy, you can ask live questions. Now, the Q&A is only going to focus on Framework. You know, it's not like, hey, I'm going to slide in here and ask about the LLCs. No, we're only going to be talking about how to start legitimate online businesses. That's all we're going to be talking about. And uh, I may draw up some stuff how I'm going to do it. But that's it. Uh, if you bought something recently at Hustlers Kung Fu Life Skill, I will send out something this week where the new channel is. Because what I like is the new channel, I'm getting a lot of organic people to subscribe. And what I'll, if I go ahead and let this channel know, all I'm going to do is get those haters coming over there. I mean, it's nice to put up a video and not get instant dislike because somebody is all up in their britches because they don't like me, and that's the only way they can get back at me. I'm sick of that stuff. Nope, I don't have a live stream schedule. Uh, ben, I started a different channel, still the channels and they started using my video style. Not weird at all, man. People steal all the time. All the time. It's a compliment. Our gamer. I just started a service business, voiceovers, but I have plans on expanding the real estate and wealth management eventually. Which courses should I buy? You should start with the side hustle starter kick. Because you the voiceover business is gonna take you two to four years to really get it rolling. And you're going to need more money coming in. So definitely the side hustle starter kit. Seems like every channel on YouTube get luxury car. That's that Amazon FBA money, man. Robbie Rob. I want to do YouTube the way you do it. Because I peep the game. The amount of revenue versus subscribers and the presses. If you had a million, oh man, if I had a million subscribers, I'd be making millions per month. I would, oh my God. One of the reasons that I had to do this, well, well, I, I should say it started with, I read this blog post and I can't find it. I don't even know if the blog exists, but this guy made a very simple and powerful point to me. He said, you could try to sell a bunch of products, but if you had a 25 or no, $29.99 product, and you sold 2000 of that product in a year, that's 60000 I said, you know what? That's very sensible. That's very sane. And that's what I did, and I made sixty two grand my first year, my first 11 months, following that advice. So, and this is, you know, because YouTube, I've seen so many changes. And if you've noticed, I've really changed the content on here because you, you're probably not even going to be able to cuss in YouTube in a year or two. Seriously. All 
All right, Ben. Oh, Christian, no, they hate on me because I'm I'm black and successful. The hate on this channel has nothing to do with the other channel. Oh, no, no. I mean, I'm not supposed to be doing what I'm doing. I'm not supposed to be dating the type of women I'm doing. I'm not supposed to have money. I'm not supposed to live where I'm living. I'm supposed to be like them. I'm unapologetically happy. That's the real problem. I am unapologetically happy. You know, I have not dealt with traffic. Like the other, this morning, I went to breakfast because I'm trying to do a new eating plan. And I got caught in traffic. And I was like, what is this stuff? People do this every day? Goodness gracious. I mean, seriously. I don't do traffic jams. Oh, man, we're getting there. A lot of these red pill channels have been demonetized. And Patreon is kicking them out, too. Because they're like, hey, it's on Patreon. And now Patreon's saying, we will not be hosting that kind of content. Because there's somebody who just ran a Patreon. I'm like, he may be in trouble. But he doesn't cuss. But the things he say are very inflammatory. Very inflammatory. Yeah, Swoozy is, Swoozy, Swoozy's channel's got to be 12 years old. And a lot of people don't even know who this guy is. He was like one of the original because Swoozy knew Michelle Fan in real life. And she introduced him on her channel and boom, he blew up. Plus, he's funny. You know what I mean? You know what? He's funny. Rob, Rob, you holding up the mirror, Glenn, that success can make others feel inadequate. Get over your feelings. I had to. I used to be a hater. I used to be stupid. They don't make you no money. Being the bartender, the hate is personal. People expect you to live like they do, and they'll be unhappy, really. They're envious of you and don't know why they, that they suck at life. A lot of people don't want to work. I understand that there's sometimes things are stacked against people, but look, I grew up in a single parent household. I was homeless and I had to hustle. And that's how I got here. Yeah, he used to work at Disney. Josh for all the men you get this from all the men you cut cold. That's funny. I mean, it's just interesting because, like, for the new channel, I'm like, dudes have been like, and I can't show everybody. Those are just the ones I can show. Because, you know, I'll talk about it because most of the thing is over. Like I said, if you uh, want to get in the webinar, go ahead and get the framework once again. Even if you get in after 8, you could probably still jump in on the webinar because I'm going to start promptly at 8. And if you... Don't feel that you're ready for online stuff. And a lot of people are not really. I mean, that, that, that's not a default or a negative. It's just I ain't ready. Go ahead and try to make some money with one of the other courses offline. Because once you make that first thousand dollars under your own power, it's very addictive. You'd be like, I want some more of this. I know. Um, one of the things that is going to happen is I see how YouTube is. And remember, Disrupted Mail, I just shut that down in December. And it's made massive changes. So there's a way, because now I'm glad I didn't have a bunch of thumbnails made up because now I know what I can and cannot put up. If she looks like she's half naked, it, they're going to delete it. But one of the things that allowed me to have all of those experiences was taking chances I wrote that book that book was the genesis for everything in my life from this point going on that book like the time I talked about how I had that fun summer where I had all sex with all these women I had more sex in one month with women than most dudes have in two or three years with women why I had the time. It, you can't duplicate that because you don't have the time. If you work a job and you're trying to keep yourself in shape, 
that's 16 hours out the day. Most people who are on their mission in life, who are trying to build, there ain't a lot of time for dating. I had boatloads of money coming in. I didn't have to do anything. So I could li I literally just played around for three years. Just played. And I'm so grateful for that experience because I I'm probably never going to retire. I will always find something to do. I know. Been the bartender. You be yeah, I know. This is why I'm not putting it on this channel. Because the thing is, the way YouTube works, unless you know where it is, it could be very hard to find because I'm not even using my name. My name is nowhere on that channel, so they can't find it that way either. Been the bartender. You've been getting a lot of love on a new channel. It's way different from the comments. That I know. It, it, it's You got people who just don't want to change. And it, it's wild. Uh, 3mm. I'm always checking in every now and then at work. I'm telling you, all this shit works. I still work at the Walmart headquarters, and using Glenn's tips in the past years, I made over 4K side hustling. Yeah, you just work, man. Congratulations. It's tax free. Uh, our gaming. That's true. I couldn't believe that I made over 1,000 just by doing voiceover. In addition to my full time job and all your videos, I'm going to purchase the side hustle course. Yeah, now let me tell you what's going to happen with voiceover. And this is where I actually agree with Gary Vee. When you could be the voice of a video game, you could be the voice. There's, there's so many things that's going to be open to people with characteristic and different type of voices. I mean, you're going like, to check. Like the, the woman who did Bart Simpson, she was making $3 million a year. Being Bart, $3 million a year, and they only film like 20, 30 episodes a year. She ain't even worked a full year. <laughs> to be honest, the Disruptive Mail channel was the best. Oh, no. The new channel's better. The new channel's way better. Robbie Rob, dude, I was in my feelings just today because of that. Robbie Rob, it's weird that you can't have spicy thumbnails but chicks on here pimping new breastfeeding tutorials. Oh, no, no, dude. Go to recent breast, breast, augment, breast augmentation post-op. You got chicks taking off their bra, feeling on themselves. And I'm like, wait a minute. Wait, 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 wait. So this chick can come in here and be topless and feel on herself, but I can't put up a, a thumbnail that doesn't show all of that. I was like, no, go to breast augmentation post-op, and you have these chicks. Some of them put tape over their nipples. Some of them don't care. They'll be just standing here like, look, it's here and here. And I'm really happy with the results here because this is this really came out so nicely. I'm like, what the? <laughs> There's a whole other side of YouTube. I know, man. Thank you, Silver New Jack. Oh, voiceovers are going to be huge, man. I know the hypocrisy is crazy. Aaron Seawright, uh, like I said, you, you, you're going to have to buy some. I'm, I'm not being kidding. Like, I may let this channel six months from now know because at that point, the trajectory will be charted and it can't be angled because if I mention that channel on this channel, I'm going to get all those haters over there. They subscribe to me. Well, most of them don't subscribe to the email list, incidentally. Roland Rocker, so a guy put his post off profit part on YouTube. Really? Ooh. Did he have like an extension, sir? Which, I, I, that's just, if, if a chick's like, well, if you go out and get a bigger thing thing, I'm like, I, I'm sorry. I am not, I am not letting the scalpel anywhere near me like that. No. Black Zeus, thanks for the five dollars. Consistent cash flow is life. Sounds like the Jim Harder from Star Trek giving victories, saying victories life. It is, man. And this is something that no one ever talks about because they don't build their businesses the appropriate way. One eight hundred got junk. 
Uh, he went eight years with one truck, and that's how he earned his first million collectively in eight years. Now he do a million a day. And he went through that, and your people uh, into the gloss, glossier. She worked on that for years before she started making money. But everybody, this is what I'm saying. You know, you get in the framework, adjust your expectations, because you're going to be working on that for a year. But the thing is, once you build it correctly, like, I'm going to let you tell you, money, profit, income, the reason I'm building it the way I'm building it, I want that to make money for the next 20 years. And let me show you something. And I'm really happy with this. Let me get in there. All right. Let's see. Where, where, where are we going to go? Come on. Come on. Domains. This is wild. Here we go. All right. Okay. So this has happened in two months. And we ain't even rolling yet. Two months. Uh, actually, yeah, I, I actually started selling. I opened up the course January 4th is when I set it up. And I think I started selling stuff January 10th or 12th. So this is just two months in. Now, I show you this because with Disruptive Mail, it took me six months to do that. Six months, and I did this in two. So this is definitely going a better way. But once again, with uh, the dark side, there's going to be products and services over there. It's just I got to really put more time, effort, and energy into the framework and get that really rolling because I like the way that we're doing it now. So it's definitely a different groove. Kareem, well, a lot of stuff is educational, but these breasts, like, I, I'm not trying to get a copyright strike. I would just pull up one because I was blown away. Because, all right, first of all, the girl had makeup on. She had a makeup on. She had hair done. There was some I was going to get ready to tell y'all. You know what? I'll, I'll say it. No, no, no. I won't do it. I won't do it. I won't do it. Uh, it's what's said in the book Upside YouTube is catering to the new growing female demographic and training their girls at the same time to pay attention to their content I would say yeah because me as a masculine man talking about masculine man stuff got flagged but a fat lesbian can talk about all kinds of stuff sexually sexually suggestive and nothing happens that's why I'm going to the dark side we're going to talk about stuff that we cannot talk about on YouTube. And I'm going to own, I'm going to own the platform. I'm going to own the site because that, that really got to me that I couldn't use that thumbnail. I said, all right, fine, your platform. We'll play by your rules for now. Nope, 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 nope. <laughs> she naked. <laughs> All right. Um, once again, 8 o'clock tonight for everyone that gets in the framework. Once again, if you missed the webinar tonight, there'll be one next Tuesday. If you missed that one, there'll be one next Tuesday. If you missed that one, there'll be one next Tuesday. So I'm probably going to set it up four weeks in advance versus months in advance. That's too long. But four weeks in advance so you know what's going on, you know what's happening, and I think you're really going to enjoy it. And once again, if you're not ready for an online business, go below, get the Hustler Kung Fu Life Skills stuff. Stuff ranges from twenty nine ninety nine up to one forty nine nine, or you can buy five spend five hundred and get everything, which will give you. Let's put it this way: you spend five hundred bucks if you work 
in three months, you're going to make way more than your 500. In your first year, you should make five or $10,000. So think about it. You spend $500 now, and you make 10000 this year. Whoa! And next year, you make twenty. And whoa! Next year, you make thirty. That's better than investing in stock because you're investing in yourself. And if you want to go for the big boy style, uh, you will get everything because I, I still need to put together the, the video for the modules. So I will do that too. But with that, I'll see you guys at 8 p.m. tonight. Have a good one. I'll see you in the next.